commercial farmer West Filia Fruits Avocado Plantations, situated at Zanin, contributed large quantities of locally produced avocados as part of the first historic consignment. The multinational supplier plans to now accelerate production of avocados across its South African operations as demand is expected to increase. China and South Africa have entered into an export agreement which was signed as part of the promotion of access to markets in China. The landmark agreement was reached upon during a series of meetings between BRICS member states in Johannesburg in 2023. That was a result of many, many years of hard work and collaboration between government departments such as the Department of Agriculture, the South African Avocado Growers Association, Westphalia Fruit put in a lot of work into that process. Um, now signing of uh, import protocol is one aspect in terms of market access and very technical in its nature. The 2,000 hectare orchard in Zanin is one of 13 operations in the country that is responsible for half avocado exports in global markets, including India, Europe and now China. Shanghai did not form part of export destinations prior to the signing of the agreement. We have greater economic opportunities for plantings from the early season production areas to the late season production areas, which means increased focus from farmers in, in expanding their production and uh, local um, produce that moves into the hawker market as a byproduct of the export uh, process. Market access to China is projected to grow the sector towards positive territory. The commercial producer is confident that it can maintain a steady supply. This as the Chinese middle class continues to expand, translating to more demand for nutritious and healthier food. This is very much a test consignment that we can ensure that we met the, the stringent import protocols that were set by the Chinese authorities. We're now at the end of the 2024 season and we have a confidence as a supplier and our customers also have a confidence in us that we can meet the import requirements. So we're excited about the opportunities for the South African uh, industry, not just for 2025, but for the future that we can expand our supply footprint uh, into the Chinese market. Upon the shipment's arrival, inspections to test the quality of the fresh produce were conducted by Shanghai Customs. The expansion of the commercial farmer's global footprint to China is expected to widen demand and ensure continual downstream supply. Projections by the farmer is that consistent supply to larger economies will also boost the informal trading sector. We are selling avocados and bananas. We think opportunities like this can assist towards the creation of jobs here in South Africa. As of now, we are running out of avocados because they sell fast. So as an alternative, we have to sell bananas as well because avocados are on demand. The sale of avocados by traders along the Nin's busy streets will likely boom further. The avocados are selling very well here on the streets and we are able to make a living and support our families. We sell others for 30 and 50 and we have received support from our customers. Selling avocados has helped me support my family as a breadwinner as there are no jobs right now. We also sell oranges and bananas to help us make a living and feed our families as well as to send our children to school. South Africa has a competitive edge as it has shorter transit times as compared to other global avocado traders. The avocados that were successfully exported have been sent to Chinese mainstream retailers. Katla Konyoni, SABC News, Zanin.